Okay, question two. So we have two particles P and Q and they have masses 2m and 3m respectively. So they are moving towards each other in opposite directions on a smooth horizontal plane where they collide directly. Now apparently, before they collision, the speed of P is 4u and the speed of Q is 3u. Okay, as a result of the collision, Q has its direction of motion reversed and is moving with speed P, the speed u. So what I would do firstly is I would actually draw this out. Okay, so firstly, let's imagine this is P and this is Q. And they're both moving, um, they both have masses 2m and 3m. They're moving towards each other in opposite directions. So again, this was P and Q. So this is moving towards Q and this is moving towards P. And they have speed uh, 4u and 3u respectively. Okay, that's from here. Now, apparently, when they, after they collide, Q has its direction of motion reversed. And it's moving speed u so this means q is now going here so we can call this speed u now they want us to find the speed of p here so what we could say just to make it easy i always work with the direction of motion i'm going to make direction motion here so this is our direction of motion so this means we can call this one let's just call it v okay and now the way i would resolve this is i would use the fact that the sum of the total moments momentum actually must equal to zero so we can use this unique formula that i use i say that the first mass times the 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 impulse so basically this is just the impulse equation will be v1 minus u1 plus the sum of the other mass times the difference in the speed so v2 minus u2 must total zero there is other formulas that you're familiar with but i generally use this one because it reminds me of the the sum of the impulses they must eventually hit to make zero because that's the whole point of it. Now, all you do is literally just plug in and see and, and literally make an expression for the speed of P. So what do we know? So because we're working in this direction, working towards the direction of motion, which is this way, we can plug everything in. So the first mass will be firstly 2m. Now, this because we're working this way, we can say that the, the final speed is V minus the initial speed of 4u. Now, this is all P done. And as for Q, we have a mass of 3m and we can say that the final speed was u minus the initial speed which is in this case because it's the opposite direction would be minus 3u so it'd be plus 3u okay not bad now all you do is just tidy up so let's have a look so firstly we can cancel all the m's out because well if you divide m across it'll be it'll be gone and expanding the bracket we should have now 2v minus 8u plus 3u plus 9u equals 0. And now finally, let's just collect like terms here. Yeah? So we've got 2v we keep there. That was my pen. And we've got minus 8. So we've got 3u plus 9u is 12. 12 take away 8 is 4. So it be plus 4u equals 0. And finally, solving this for v, we should get v equals minus 2u and hence because it's negative, the speed is negative here, we can say that the direction of motion has been reversed. So for part B, state whether or not direction of motion has been reversed. Yes, it's been reversed. Okay, so if it's positive, it goes in, a, in, the, in the same direction. If it's negative, it flips. So the arrow should really be pointing left with a speed of 2u or right with a speed of negative 2u. Now finally, an easy part. Find the magnitude of the impulse exerted on P by Q in a collision. Well, the, why, the reason why I like this formula as well is because once you present it like this, this entire formula is actually an impulse. They're both impulses. Because you imagine a dotted line across here. It's, the general um, idea is that the impulse acts like a reaction against the, 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 the collision. So really, this entire formula is equal to I both of them okay so whatever you result you get this one and you practically found your impulse so let's do it let's just take i don't know um so in this case it says exerted on p by q they should both give you the same result because i plus minus i should give you zero so let's just take the first one yeah so let's see so we've got v which is now uh, minus 2u so minus 2u minus 4u should give us let's have a look 
So copying this one down here, we should get a mass of, oh my God, what am I doing? Of 2m. Is it 2m? So 2m times v, which is minus 2u minus 4u. So you can get a negative value because this is equal to, this This is opposite direction of motion, right? So this would be equals to negative i. The other one would equal to positive i, by the way. So solving this one, you should get, um, let's see, minus 6u here. So times it by 2, you should get minus 12mu equals negative i. So the impulse must be 12mu. Try for the right hand side, you should get the same thing. Why? Because this double j, u plus 3 is 4u times 3 is 12. So again, this one is also 12mu.